Good afternoon, Southern Wayne County Regional Chamber members. My name is Ron Henricks, and I'm the president of the chamber. And I have a, a very special treat for you today. I'm here with my good friend, Stephanie McKeith with Theta Living Community Wellness Center. How are you, Stephanie? Good, thanks good. for being here. Good to see you. Yeah. Um, and we'll just do a little introduction here. Uh, and I have to you know, I have to tell you, Stephanie is a good friend of mine and actually was one of the first people that I met when I became the president of the chamber about a year and a half ago. Mm -hmm. uh, and the one thing I will always remember is that we came here on, I think my first week in, in this position, two. it was like day, day two, two. Yeah. and we did a, a live Facebook video and that was a lot of fun. But since we've done that, you were under construction at the time and it's just completely changed. It, there's a lot of stuff going on here. You have beautiful wooden doors I'm looking at right now and, and many different rooms where there's some great things happening. So can you tell us a little bit about what you do here? So I'm a cancer coach, and amongst that, though, we also have various holistic therapies that support anybody in any phase of their health, mm -hmm. whether it be prevention mm -hmm. or working to reverse or calm down a disease, mm -hmm. everything that supports the body as a whole. So mm -hmm. we're working to reduce stress, eliminate aches and pains, find a healthy balance in the entire body, mm -hmm. mind, uh, uh, you as a whole being. That that's amazing. And one thing that we've been doing with uh, with you and your company lately is Healthy Chamber. Mm -hmm. And I think that's just been a, a phenomenal success. And I think we've had two sessions at this point, and the third one's coming up in September. It Can is. you tell us a little bit about what Healthy Chamber is? Sure. So Healthy Chamber, quarterly, we offer a presentation that's available to all members of the chamber, and it's free. It's part of your membership. And I come in and give a presentation on what holistic health really means, what health in the workplace is, and how different this is as opposed to like a workplace wellness program. Mm -hmm. If we don't have the proper information and resources to live a healthier lifestyle mm -hmm. we're looking at cancer becoming diagnosed to one in two people by 2020 that, and that that's a huge impact on our business community if you talk about how that's going to affect our employees i mean that that's a, that's something i don't even want to think about missed work mm -hmm. um um mm -hmm not just not feeling well not yeah. being able to return back right. to work Low product productivity yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. that's that's a serious concern and um i think that's a, that's a big reason why we started healthy chamber mm -hmm. was really because of the cancer epidemic and we talked about that figure uh, i think you at the time you told me it was every one in 2.4 employees by uh, 2020 is. Uh, which is like was mind-blowing for me so so healthy chamber has been great um, and then of course you have a lot of a lot of great things happening here and you're a chamber ambassador mm -hmm. and different things like that but one thing that's coming up with the whole cancer prevention side of the of the business is your cancer prevention convention yeah. in Dearborn tell us a little bit about that so for the last three years I've hosted an event we call it the cancer prevention convention and it's the main focus is on cancer prevention, but mm -hmm. then there are those who already have cancer. So what do you do? So we go over all of the options and what you can actually do to not feel so sick, to mm -hmm. not to not miss so much work and to beat those statistics. We have to make change in cancer to be able to change those statistics. Mm -hmm. If we don't incorporate shifts into the way that we're treating it, we're not going to to change that one in 2.4 and I'm committed mm -hmm. to being part of that change and to helping others realize they have the power to do it and they have options for cancer care. That's that's really great, Stephanie. And when you started your business, it was really focused on the holistic mm -hmm. side um, and that's changed a little bit, right? I, I know it's definitely changed here because I've seen you've added a lot of different rooms mm -hmm. and even new employees. Mm -hmm. So uh, what are some of the, and you might've touched on this already, so I apologize, but what are some of the other um, areas that you're really uh, looking to highlight to our community that, that you're offering here at the Theta Living? So we started out as a holistic fitness center. And mm -hmm. as a cancer coach, I would refer my clients f out for different types of holistic therapies, mm -hmm. near infrared light therapy, PEMF therapy, acupuncture, Reiki for emotional support and there wasn't anything to for them to go to or when we would locate somewhere it would be an hour and a half two hours away and by mm -hmm. the time they drive and get their therapy and come back the whole day is gone oh, wow. so one by one I would just start adding therapies mm -hmm. here and we just became a true holistic health center mm -hmm. N not necessarily just for cancer patients but for people who work out mm -hmm. you know in the gym for who doesn't have stress yeah. who you know we're a very uh, business based 
area of Michigan. Mm -hmm. And we have a working class society here yeah. that's under a lot of stress and pressure and needs mm -hmm. needs support so we're offering that and you are from my understanding is is that you are the only business in this whole region that offers these maybe you know these kinds of services all in one place mm -hmm. so that that's pretty amazing so congrats, congratulations to you and your Thank team you. um, and then the last thing I want to touch on uh, before we wrap up is that you are a chamber ambassador mm -hmm. and you're our ambassador of the month for the month of uh, June I believe or July I'm, I think it was June. It was June. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Stephanie. So, so many great ambassadors. So, um, so what is being a member of the ambassador committee, what does that mean to you and your business? I am all about community. Anything I can do to enhance mm -hmm. um, community improvement, mm -hmm. whether it be health or just being an active part of the community, mm -hmm. it, we to be part of something greater to me is healthy. Yeah. So, for, that's a healthy part of my yep. business to have mm -hmm. that community involvement in my tribe of people who feel like I do, think like I do, yeah. are doing the same things that I do. Mm -hmm. So it's very important to me mm -hmm. to demonstrate to my children mm -hmm. and to the rest of the community that finding a group of people that support you and that you can be part of a support system yeah. is critical. That's great. And really, you're having a, a, a very positive and what I always I always say positive lasting impact and you are a person that's having that type of impact on our region and I just want to congratulate you on this this beautiful uh, facility you have and the services that you offer to our community uh, you're really having uh, a great impact on the region so thank you Stephanie thank you. we appreciate your time and uh, thanks for being here today and thank you everyone for watching the show and we're looking forward to seeing you on the, the next uh, chamber YouTube video series have a great day